Hello, this is Gabriel and today I'm going to show you some easy and useful modeling techniques on an object involving extrusions in Cinema 4D. Basically, an extrusion means to bring out or force out or expand a surface, a face or a line on any object that's editable. But what you need to keep in mind is that you cannot use those modeling techniques on a primitive and original object. You need to first make it editable. Those three easy methods are called extrude, extrude inner and bevel. So we are going to focus on these three for now. Let's say we want to extrude a face of this cube. We are going to select it. And uh, in order to do that, we need to right click and we have here the three methods, bevel, extrude and extrude inner. Let's use extrude for now. Now we see that the cursor has changed to a small icon that shows that something is editing and something is changing there. And let's click on the face, drag with the mouse. You can also do this by clicking on the outside of the object. It does the same thing. You can do this with any face that you select while you are active in the extrude function. The more you hold your mouse clicked and you drag it, the further you go with the extrude. You can also extrude more faces at the same time. Select it. And I have extruded. Let's try now the extrude inner technique for modeling. We select a face, right click and choose extrude inner. It works in the same way as the extrude function, but it behaves different. We can see now that it extruded itself equal to the edges and created a new polygon. This new polygon is a subdivision of the original selected polygon. Most of the time the extrude inner function is used in combination with the extrude function. You just have to select and adjust the face you want to extrude and then switch to extrude and work with it further. And now for the bevel technique, we are going to do the same thing. We are going to select a face, right click, select bevel, and move. We can see that the bevel is a combination between the extrude and the inner extrude. You can use it to create a nice roof tops. Just combine it with the other extrude functions. And also uh, you can adjust the properties here in the attributes manager for each every function you use. But that is for you to play with. So when you're done modeling you can just apply colors, textures and materials on your object. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's quick modeling tips video and found it useful. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, 
activate the notifications and wait for the next videos to see what's up.